Hey guys, Mike here and welcome back to the channel. Well, we've had a brief respite in uh, our lockdown. We've got slightly more, or should I say slightly less restrictions, we're allowed to be able to do some recreation. Um, oddly, things like fishing and hunting are back on the list. However, um, I'm taking that to mean you can do droning as well. So I'm traveling a few k's away from uh, where I live to a nice little inlet and I'm going to test the accuracy of the return to home function on the Mini 2. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, it's not going to be hugely scientific, but kind of scientific. I've got my uh, landing and takeoff platform here. I've got the, uh, got the Mini 2. So what I propose to do is uh, set the return to home point before I take off, get it out there about, I don't know, four, five, six hundred meters, initiate return to home, let it come back by itself and then see how close it lands to the original takeoff point. Now I reckon anything within, I don't know, two, three meters is probably good as gold. Um, I mainly use return to home to get it back to where it's coming close and I can see it and then I disable return to home and take over and land it myself or take it back out there and do whatever. So uh, yeah, so let's fire it up and uh, see how we go. Initiate the return to home function now. Go home. Turning around and going up to the 50 odd meters that I'd set as the return to home altitude. And now it's heading back. One of the annoying things about the return to home is that noise. Now this is a good chance to experiment with uh, using the, you can adjust the position of the drone, you can point it in different directions um, and it will continue to come back to the home point but it allows you to adjust the camera, gimbal, that sort of thing. Oh I can hear it. Oh yeah, here we go. And here she comes. Okay, a couple of meters away, not bad at all. Yeah, pretty happy with that, look at that. So we've got, uh, let's say one, two, I'd say about two meters away. So that's a pretty good result. What did I say at the start? Get it within two to three meters, be happy with that. Alrighty, let's give it another shot. All right, I might take it in a different direction this time.
Look, overall, I think it's the fantastic ability of this drone to actually sort of get back to, you know, you're never going to get it back a centimetre perfect, but a few metres is more than good enough. Because what I can do now is I could actually stop the landing and uh, take over full control myself, which I might do because it's going to land in some long weeds. <laughs> but it's even, even said that itself, area under aircraft unsuitable for landing, control area to land in the safe area, so that's pretty good. So if we look at the distance, it's about one, two, probably three meters away. So I'm gonna go okay. I'm gonna bring it back. And I'm gonna land it in a better spot. Beautiful. Okay, so that was three meters. Let's give it another try. I think it'll be about the same. Okay, 300 meters away, let's hit return to mode, to return to home should I say, go home. right, attempt number three, here we go, going up to that 50 meters, turning around, Reminder there if I move away from the original takeoff point, update the home um, point. Good advice. Right, so I'm going to move the drone around, look at different areas. It's still going to be coming back exactly the way I want, but I don't have to worry about controlling the drone back in the right direction. I'm just controlling it from the camera's point of view, which is kind of cool. Now I can hear it. Okay, pretty much right above me now. And it's going to come down. Landing. Yeah, pretty close again. Again, probably two or three meters. actually pretty close this one's real close oh that is super close that one not bad at all right there that is actually probably less than a meter away that time that's real good happy with that okay now time to get out there and have some fun with it
Hey guys, Future Mike here, and I have to say that overall that's a pretty good result. In my book, any automatic return to home feature that gets the drone back and landed within a couple of meters of where it took off is very, very good. If you're one of these people whose expectations is that the drone should land back inch perfect from where it took off, well, you probably think there's microchips in the COVID vaccine as well. In my experience, whenever I've used the return to home feature, I tend to wait until it's pretty much in sight and coming down to land and then take over manual control myself, either to land it myself or to continue flying and head out again. So all up, I was pretty happy with the results from my test. Hey, while you're here, I've been testing out a few other things on the Mini 2 in recent weeks, from speed tests to range tests, so check them out by clicking on the links on screen now. Cheers, guys.